This is Epic Red 555. Um, coming to you guys because I'm in extreme desperation. Remember, I told you guys I raised a lot of money and my stepdad kind of just stole it? Well, X and Y is coming out in literally two days. Like, right now it's Thursday, the 10th, and fucking X and Y comes out in two days. So, people at school, this is what I got. Um, I can show you the motorcycle, it's in the backyard, so I'll get down there in this video, but this is what I got to sell. Now, remember I told you guys I have an Xbox, I got Hitman Absolution, and all the games are in here, they all got their booklets and everything, so, as I was saying, I got Hitman Absolution, I got the scariest game in the world since 2004, Fear. First Encounter Assault Recon. I got, um, now there are some games that my mom purchased recently from Buybacks. This game's called Lost Planet 2. Black Ops. Modern Warfare. Sneak King. It's a game about the, um, the guy from Burger King. Uh, Bionicle Heroes, for anyone who wants that. I doubt anyone will, though. Call of Duty 3. This is Street Fighter 4. This game, Splatterhouse, is amazing. If you were ever angry, play this game. It is insanely awesome. The original Left 4 Dead, Platinum Edition, Game of the Year. Uh, my little brother plays this one. This is Minecraft for the Xbox 360. Star Wars, The Force Unleashed. And, um... Bionic Command. And then this last one is a racing game. The game is called Dirt. But as far as my games, that is my complete library as of right now. Um... So, yeah. Now, most of you guys know me for Pokemon, so this is my EX Binder currently, and my, um, my, uh, card binder. So, all EXs, five bucks. I'm trying to get $140 before, um, before Saturday, guys. These are old school rares, five bucks a piece. Reverse hollows and hollows, five bucks a piece. Um, these three, however, are not for sale. Definitely not. It was the first card I ever owned. First thing I ever had to do with Pokemon. So, yeah, this is all my reverse stuff. Um, these are all my trainers. Energies are like a, I don't care, a buck a piece. I mean, whatever. Uh, I mean, just whatevs. Trainers, a uh, buck a piece. I got a few staples in there, like junipers and whatnot. Commons. These are like a buck of cheese. I'm pretty sure any common in existence I got. So, this binder is like really sick. But, get back to me on that. Now, as far as you guys at school, and if, for those of you who are interested, as I said, this video is only for people in, North, in Las Vegas area and Henderson only. So, this little case here has something metal in it. I wonder what it could be. It has, and yes, it does come with its own case. It has my Ninja Star in it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. The ding marks are from the wall. Because I've tossed it in the wall a few times, but I'm pretty, I know it comes off. Like, all it has to do is be washed. But it's pretty cool. Solid. Legit. I promise. Legit stuff. Now, this might kind of uh, surprise you guys. This is my Kitana. Yes, the lacing is is awesome. The sheath is all red. Um, 
I'm not sure if it's Japanese or Chinese. It looks Japanese to me. But there is authentic art on the sheath. You got a couple cranes, some mountains, a guy in a canoe on the side. Um, let me go ahead and put you guys down real quick and unsheath this incredible shoulder. So, first off, the um, sheath is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. The hilt of the um, sword is actually, if you look rather closely, the hilt of the sword is actually a crane. Because look, you see the head right there, and then the wings. It's pretty cool. It's pretty legit. You got lacing on the handle. And then, of course, here's the blade. This is a true, legit sword. I swear to God it is. This is for real. This is no joke. If, for those of you who want to see how long it is, I mean... <sighs> It's pretty self self explanatory. I mean look at the thing. This is a kitana. This is a sword. This is legit. This is real. This sword is freaking gigantic. It's like three and a it's like three and a half feet long. Look. This is my body. I'm five foot eight. This thing is up if I stand straight. This thing is up to my hip. It's right here. It's just where the tip of the tip of my hip starts from the top. So you're looking at a three and a half foot sword. Let me sheath it back up. And then let me, t uh, this is my room. As I said, there's really nothing in here for me to sell. You know, if you see anything, let me know. Uh, my DS, for those of you who want that, does have a flimsy upper body, but I promise you, it works. Um, hmm. Let me take you guys downstairs. Okay, downstairs and outside. Here is the um. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me uh go get a flashlight. It is kind of dark out here. Hold on one second, guys. We have lights. Let there be light, fools. Okay, so let me take you downstairs to the backyard where I have this mini motorcycle. Now, we're not sure which company this bike is um, made by. No idea, but it's a little like miniature rocket bike. It's pretty cool. Has a gear shift, um, leg gates, uh, gas tank, speedometer. You know everything's all legit with it. It's got a little pull start right there. Just. Awesome stuff, guys. Awesome stuff. Um, 
as far as bikes, if you're looking in terms of transportation other than that, um, this one's mine. I need that. This may be old, but if you fix it up, it'll work for sure. Hey! <laughs> I mean, who wants a lawnmower? I mean, come on. I'm desperate. I need help, guys. This is EpicRed555 reaching out to you. Comment, rate, and subscribe to EpicRed555. Call me. The number is 241-9825. Um, text me. You know, you guys, just do whatever. Make sure that, you know, you get to me. You need to get to me within the next 24 hours regarding this stuff. Because I need your assistance. I need your help. I need to get X and, X and Y. I've been dying for these games for 10 months now. I need your help. I really do. Please help me. Please. Epigraph 555, guys. Deuces.